Now I will discuss the requirements for connectivity between the ZDM service host and the source and target database servers. ZDM requires passwordless SSH key authentication from the ZDM service host to both the source and target database servers. It is possible to run ZDM with a parameter for the password for root for the connectivity to the source database server. That is an option. However, I personally find it easier to set up SSH key authentication from the ZDM service host to both the source and target database servers, since it's a requirement for the target database server. So, in our case, the key points to remember are that the uh, key must be without a passphrase, that it connects from the ZDM user to the OPC user on the source and target database servers, and that you need to make sure that you have resolution from the ETC host file and that you make some changes to the SSH config in order to make sure that you make a connection as the ZDM user, but to the OPC user on the targets. And you should always test this before proceeding. So to review how to set up uh, SSH keys if you do not have them already. On your ZDM service host, execute SSH key gen, and when prompted for a passphrase, provide none. You will then need to, or it's recommended, that you copy your public and private keys, your ID and the bar RSA private key and ID and bar RSA.pub, copy them to new file names in order to prevent accidental overwrite by another SSH key gen operation. You will need to copy the contents of your public key to the authorized key file of the OPC users on the source and target database servers. You will also need to make sure that your ZDM service host has in its ETC host file the proper authentication uh, or resolution actually for the target and source database servers. If you see in this case here, we have our source, which in our case is OCIC servers, the IP address, and then the target servers, which are XOCS and the IP addresses. After you have set up the keys, you will also need to configure the uh, SSH config file. In here, you will need to, if you do not have already, create a new file with host asterisk. This means that the following section applies to all connections, and then host, and then give it the name of your target uh, database server, and then you will need to do it again for your source database server. And in this block will be the items that apply to that connection. So one would be the IP address, as you see here. Two would be the identity file that is used by the ZDM user to uh, connect. So this is, in other words, the private key. And then the user that it's going to use to connect with on the target, which in our case is OPC. And if you have a proxy requirement, then you will need to put in a proxy command, and this will be specific to your environment. And then after you have completed this, you should test your connectivity. I recommend, as a start, use an SSH minus I, the location of the private key, and then OPC or the user at either the source or target database server name. 
as you see in this example here. You can also test this as SSH and then simply the service and target database server name. That should work also. However, as the first step, you want to test the keys. And then the second step, without providing the minus I and the user at, will test the configuration of the SSH config files. 